Hey everyone, I'm Lene. I hope you are all enjoying your holidays. And today I'm gonna show you my setup for my new Hobonichi Weeks for 2023. I wasn't even gonna get this planner. I didn't need it. I really didn't. But I was, of course, I'm watching videos to see, you know, get some inspiration for the planners I'm gonna use next year. And I bought the Hobonichi Cousin. I should have like the setup videos. There's two of them already uploaded if i don't they'll be coming soon i saw this planner a lot and i liked it and i was like well it wasn't that expensive on amazon and i received it really quick so i'm like let me just try it a lot of the covers were out of stock but luckily i got this one and this is like my type of color if you see my videos i love pink light pink coral whatever stuff like that so the color was perfect for me I got a mega. I really didn't mind if it was the normal one or the mega one. The mega one has more notes pages, but it was the only one that they had, so that's the one I got. But now that I've started like setting it up, I'm gonna use them for sure. I haven't bought a clear cover for it yet because I'm, I haven't decided what exactly I'm gonna do. I've seen Moterm make covers for this exact planner, so I might choose one of those, get a leather that I like. I was using this planner last year which is um, cream crock leather and I like a lot. I might get that same cover for this planner. I'll see, I haven't decided yet. And they're expensive, so I gotta think through that one. So let's start. This comes with a planner, it's like a transparent pocket, but I haven't stuck it anywhere because I don't know where I want, if I want it here, or maybe over here on the back. So I just left it there. I haven't done anything yet on this pages. But I'm thinking for sure I might do what I did in the Cousin, which is use like a couple pretty washies and just stripe it like this. So that's probably what I'm going to do over here. And these two pages still haven't done anything yet. And over here, this is the 2023 yearly overview. On this side, they have 2022 and 2024. I don't need those, so I just covered it with a journaling card from Cloth and Paper use some washi that i have got this washi from amazon anything i show you i'll link for you in my description box what i did on this side since the calendars are so small i knew i wasn't gonna use them for anything i just put these transparent teardrop stickers here on top of the number oh and i got the english version and i just scripted in like the abbreviation of each month and i and i think it looks really nice i think i saw this on instagram I think maybe there were stickers, but I just decided to do it myself because I have nice handwriting if I am if I try and if I'm not in a rush, I could have nice handwriting. Now, if I'm in a rush, it comes out really ugly. The transparent stickers are from Let's See Kylie Designs on Etsy and I ordered this from her too. These are just like the holidays, but they're big, so I use them in the cousin. So that's what I did on this page over here. I still have to write in important dates. After that, they have these two pages, which I've seen a lot of habit trackers. It's, it's easy to track habits, but if you see my videos, you know that I said it. I don't, I don't track habits. I don't do it. I do it for two or three days and then I stop. But I'm gonna try because I was thinking if for each month in the morning, like when I when I wake up and plan my day, if I could just put like my mood. That's why I did this little key and I use these, these dot markers. These I got from Amazon, I'll link them. I have to check if it bleeds though. So I was thinking if I would do that every day in the end of the year, it's gonna look really nice with all the colors, but I don't know. Cause like I said, I don't track nothing, but we'll see. After that, it goes directly to the monthly calendar. They started in December, 2022. So I just, planned in it just so I could get like the feel of the planner. I put this sticker here. This is from Happy Planner. I put 2022. That's from Erin Condren. I just wrote in like the important dates and events. And I think it looks really nice just by writing stuff in. I use the Tombow. I forgot what number this one is. It's like a blue gray just to 
mark when there was something going on all these days on my son's vacation from school new year's eve christmas i just put these trees here i use this washi i got this from amazon like a big big pack i think it's in the video my amazon haul video i really like how it looks when i wrote in it it's a little bit different because it takes longer for the ink to dry and these are like the pens i like to use my favorite favorite is the pentel anagel gel pen 0.7 and this one i like too is a pilot g2 0.7 and they're both gel pens and i like how they look they just take more time to dry i just gotta i just have to remember that not to touch it or anything so it won't smudge so i like that now i understand why people like planning here i thought that the paper was gonna bother me but i really like the paper even though it's kind of cream it's not crisp white it's not thick i still like it what i did for the rest of the months I just took the same stickers from Happy Planner and just put one in each month. See, I did it for every month. After that, they give you a couple extra months. These are 2024, 20, January, February, March. I don't think I'm going to use them, but I don't know what I'm going to do yet. And then the weekly sheet start. And I just got this planner. So this already had passed. Like today's the 18th. But I wanted to try planning in it a little bit, even though they have passed. And this is what I came up with first. I just used a Tombow marker just to highlight this, this area. I just wrote it myself to do, to film, meal. I used some washi that was like fall-like. I just scripted out like the days of the week, weekend. This is when December starts. I did these hearts. And the squares with a stencil I have. I really like how this looks. I could do this. Like to start my week. I could do this in five minutes. And I could already have my week planned out. So I did the following week too. I just used a different tumble. More washi tape. Here I just wrote gifts. These are the gifts I'm going to get my son. And I haven't checked off because I have them already. And this is the week that just passed. That's almost done. Today's Sunday. So if you look. I really like planning in it. I prepped for the week. I had an appointment this day. This day my son got sick. Um, stuff I had to do. I put the weather on Thursday because it was like a really bad thunderstorm. And it was weird for Florida. So I put it that in. Just drew some clouds there. And some lightning. I did my to-do list. I didn't, I didn't do all of this. I don't know why I checked it all off. Maybe, I probably did it just so it could look nice for the video. And then I have to film a couple of videos I want to try to get up. I haven't done all of these either, but remember, I'm practicing. And then this is like the meal prep or at least meal plan. Like, I like to know what I'm going to cook in the week. That way, when I go food shopping in the weekend, I know the ingredients I need. As you see, I didn't cook that much this week. I only got one, but it's okay. I ate. No worries. I went more colorful with some flowers down here. Oh, and over here, I posted a YouTube video. So I just... Drew that myself and just wrote down what the video was about. So this is the next week. I haven't filled it out yet. Christmas week. And these are all the rest. The whole year. Can't believe the whole year fits in here. So after the whole year is finished. That's when the note pages starts. And since this is the mega. It comes with a lot more than the normal ones. I don't know how much more but it does. And I just put this little tab up here. That's from Erin Condren. I'm going to use these notes pages for whatever I want. Honestly. For lists. Maybe if I want to write stuff down. I've seen a lot of videos where you could use them like to daily plan. Because at least this one, the Mega, has enough for every day. But I'm not going to be doing that because I bought the Cousin. And that's this has a daily page. Like a whole page. And that's more than enough for me. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to need anything else. And I can memory keep on those pages too. So I'm really not going to need to daily plan here. But I can write whatever I want. So what I did was I started with some goals that I'm trying to work towards. I wrote this in. Use Tombow here just so it could look pretty. It says the motivated mindset. Some washi. Then I use my stamps just to stamp in each month. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. I was thinking of separating my goals for every month. 
you know, to make them easier because you, you make like a real big goal for the whole year and it, it looks impossible. So if, if you divide it for every month and you write down stuff you should do to get that goal, I think it's going to be easier and fun to do. So I did that so far. Then I have here, I haven't done any more on the notes pages. Here I have, oh, I just have this sticky, this post-it. This is a video I'm doing on my desk setup. It's almost done. Since the year's almost over, like the planner videos are first before any other videos. That's why I'm, I'm saving this one for after I finished my planner videos. Then I have all these note pages, like I said. You can write whole songs out, poems, thoughts of thoughts, I don't know. I can't, I can't even use this for YouTube. YouTube ideas, video ideas, stuff like that. I don't use the mums for YouTube because I change. Like sometimes I have a plan for the month. Like I want to do these four or five videos and then I change up. I don't feel like doing those videos anymore. So I'm not going to use it for that, but I can use it for ideas. In the end, it just has like these pages says favorites. I think these come in all the planners. 100, my favorite things. I might fill it out. I don't know if I should fill it out now. Like say my 22, my 2022 favorites or should I should fill it out the next year. I don't know. I think I'm going to forget. And over here, I'm just putting washi that's left over that I'm not going to use for anything else. I'm just putting it there. It's probably going to look nice once it's filled. And here, I haven't put anything yet, but I'll be de decorating it soon. And that's it. I just wanted to show you what I have so far and how I'm planning my weeks. I know I'm going to enjoy using it because last year, all I had was rim planners. So I couldn't write that much. You know, you buy the answers. All you have to do is fill out, like, the information. And it's really... Not a lot of writing to do here. I could do more writing. So that's my Habonichi week setup. I have the setup of the cousin on my channel. I have my lineup already. So if you want to watch more videos like this, you could go check those out.